Web stories are a highly audiovisual experience, but that doesn't mean they have to be inaccessible. Here are a few easy tricks that will bring your stories to everyone. One of the greatest advantages of web stories compared to their social counterparts is that they can be made accessible, for instance to those who consume them via screen readers. What's a screen reader? It is a tool that literally does what the name says. In order to make the web accessible, it reads out loud what's on the screen. With social media stories, you might upload a video or picture, then add a bunch of stickers or text and hit the submit button. Under the hood, the social media app flattens all those elements into a single video or image so it can be stored more easily at the expense of accessibility. While your eye can easily understand that this story page here consists of a headline, a sticker and a picture of a cat, a screen reader will have no clue and just see a single image. Luckily, that's not the case with web stories, as web stories might look and feel the same but are really web pages. Below the surface, they still consist of several layers of elements and a web browser in screen reader mode can read them. So let's see what my screen reader thinks of the same cat story page when built as a web story. Which cat is the fiercest? Cat A, pick underscore lion dot png, cat B, pick underscore tiny cat dot png, cat C, pick underscore dog lion dot png. Okay, well, that's slightly better than a single image. By listening to this, I might now have a hunch that this is likely a joke about a cat, but I still have no idea what's on the images. I think we can do better. Luckily, it's really not hard at all to describe videos and images in a way that makes them more useful and accessible. Like all images on the web, their web story counterparts support the alt attribute. In your visual editor of choice, it might have a different name, like here in Web Stories for WordPress, it's called Assistive Text, and in Make Stories, it's called Image Alternative Text. In both cases, you can find it in the design sidebar when clicking on an image on your page. Fill this field with a description of what is going on in the picture and screen readers will be able to read it out aloud to its user. Videos don't have an alt attribute, but you can improve their accessibility by filling the title attribute and uploading captions. The title attribute is originally reserved for an actual title and not a description, but both for accessibility and SEO, we recommend describing the scene in detail or pasting the transcript into it. Even more important are captions which most popular editors allow you to upload in the design sidebar. They're easy to create as the required VTT file format is really just a bunch of timestamps and text in its simplest form. And there are plenty of tools to create or convert to them. I've linked some in the description. There are many reasons that make captions a smart business decision on your part. Even for non-disabled readers, captions can make it way easier to consume stories without turning up the volume so less of your users drop off in return. And with the title and captions in place, Search engines will have an easier time understanding the content of your story when crawling it, so you get an SEO boost. So let's see what my screen reader thinks of my cat story now. Which cat is the fiercest? Cat A, an old grim scar-faced lion. Cat B, a tiny cat that is having a good yawn. Cat C, a chihuahua dog wearing a lion costume. So much better. These tips will improve the accessibility of your story significantly but there's always more to be done. If you encounter accessibility issues with the web story format or the visual editor of your choice, then be sure to let us know. Onwards.